Hello everyone, my name is Stepo and welcome to Nature Engineering. Today we are doing a question on AutoCycle, Power Machines N6, and it reads as follows. An engine working on the AutoCycle principle has a cylinder diameter of 100 mm and a stroke of 150 mm. At start of compression, the mixture is at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 100 kilopascal. The volume compression ratio of the engine is 9 is to 1. The highest pressure in the cycle is 3300 kilopascal. Polytropic index of compression and expansion is 1.3. And the gas constant is, 8, is 288 joules per kg Kelvin. And then the questions they say. Number one, calculate the pressure in kilopascal, volume in cubic meters, and absolute temperature at all the change points in the cycle. Number two, calculate the work done in joules per cycle. Number three, calculate the heat lost only during compression stroke when the specific heat capacity at constant volume is equals to 0.7. 1.8 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. And this is the information that we are given. We are given the diameter of the piston, the stroke length, the ratio, and we are told that the expansion and the compression and expansion takes place using the polytropic law. And we are given the index of polytropic. We are given the gas constant. As 0 0.288 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and this we know at the graph that represents our the auto cycle and then question number one they say calculate the pressure in kilopascal volume in cubic meters and the absolute temperature at all the change points in the cycle we will start by calculating uh, using the information we can start by calculating Vs, which is the swept volume. It's given by pi divided by 4. D squared times the stroke length. Pi divided by 4. We have the diameter is 0 0.1 squared times the stroke length. We have 0 0.15. And we get that our swept volume is... 1.178 times 10 to the power negative 3 cubic meters and we by using this we calculate the currency volume we know that uh, the ratio it's equals to the swept volume plus currency volume divided by swept volume we do math and we get that uh, the, we get an equation like this v s divided by v c v c and then from here we have this and we have this we can get the currency volume the ratio is nine it's equals to one plus the third volume is one point one seven eight times ten to the power negative three divided by um the currency volume and we get that our currency volume is it will be 1.178 times 10 to the power negative 3 divided by 8 which will give us our currency volume is 1.473 times 10 to the power negative 4 cubic meters we want we know that uh v2 is equals to v3 which is equals to v2 and v3 they are the currency volume the currency volume which this is equals to the currency volume which the currency volume is this is the currency volume so we can come to this number two and number three is number two and number three Number two and three, we put the currency volume. So one 
0.473 times 10 to the power negative 4. 1.473 times 10 to the power negative 4. And then we calculate for V1 and V4. No, V1 and V4 are the same. V1 is equal to V4. Which is equal to, yeah, clearance volume plus the swept volume, which is this one and this one. The sum of these two, I got that it is 1.325 times 10 to the power negative 3. We add the clearance volume and the swept volume. And here still 1.325 times 10 to the power negative 3. Since they asked us to calculate the pressure volume and temperature, we are now done with the pressure. We have to, to fill the spaces of the, te of the temperature and the pressure. We move. Erase this. We are going to start with P2. We use this line from here and here. We will say, since we have pressure number one, we have volume one and volume two, we can get uh, pressure number two you, by using this PV11 and it's equal to P2V2N. We're looking for what? P2. When we keep the subject of the formula, it will be P1 times v1 divided by v2 raised to the index which will be 100 times this that's equals to the ratio we can just put 9 instead of putting this 2 1.3 which will give us an answer of 1739.864 1 that's the answer. Then from here, we can calculate T2. From here, we can calculate T2. I will erase this. We will use PV divided by T. It's equal to P2V2 divided by T2. Uh, or we can use T2 divided by T1 as equals to P to V1, V2 raised to index minus 1. You can choose which one to use between these two. I don't like too much information, therefore we will use this one that I just erased here. Which will be T2 divided by T1 as equals to V1 divided by V2. 2 raised to the index minus 1. And then T2 is equal to this, which is T1. T1 is 303 times this is equal to the ratio 9 raised to the index 1.3 minus 1, which will give us our uh, temperature number 2 as 5 point, sorry, it's 585 Point seven five four, and we erase this. We go to we will calculate now T3. Calculate T3 using the information of T1, T3, and T2. We know here the volume are the same. We will use P V T. Three, uh, 2, 2, 2. It's equal to P3 V3 divided by T2. We know the volume will cancel out because they are the same. We're using this line here. The volumes are the same. Therefore, we are going to calculate for our T3. We make it the subject of the formula. T3 is equal to T2 times P 
3 divided by P2, which will be T2 is 5, 8, 5.754 times P3 is 3300 divided by P2. It's 1739.864, which will give us T3 as 1111 Kelvin. And then from here, we are going to calculate, we will use P3V3 raised to N as equals to P4V. Four raised to n. We are looking for what? We make it the subject of the formula. It's equals to p3 times uh, v3 divided by v4 raised to n. v1 it's equals to v4. v2 it's equals to v3. Uh, v3 yes and v1 divided by v2 we know it's 9 here we are not having v4 divided by v3 but we're having v3 divided by v4 which will give us 1.9 as the value of this t3 we know is 3300 times 1 divided by 9 raised to the index which is 1.3 and you get that our p4 is equals to 190 kilopascal from here we are going to calculate for t4 we calculate for t4 we will use this the information of stage number four and stage number one p Four V four divided by T four is equals to P one V one divided by T one. This and this we can say we know P one V one and V four are the same, therefore they will cancel out. We are looking for T four. We make it the subject of the formula, which will be T one P four divided by P3, our P1, and we substitute. Uh, it will be 303 times 190 divided by 100, which will give us our answer is 545.7. And we are done with question number one. We have calculated everything that they said they want. All the values of pre of pressure, all the values of the uh, of volume, and all the values of temperature. We we'll go to the second question. They say, calculate the work done in joules per cycle. Work done when we are having the same index. It's equal to M R T. 3 minus T4 minus T2 plus T1. Index minus 1. And then we substitute. Oh, we do not have the value of M. We must calculate for the value of M first. We are going to use PV. It's equals to MRT. We will use the information of the first stage m is equals to p1 v1 divided by r t1 which will be our pressure is 100 volume 1.325 times 10 to the power negative 3 which will be divided by r 0 0.288 times temperature number one is 0 3 0 which will give us the value of M. Let me write it here. Is okay. 
zero point zero zero one five two and we come to this is kg zero point zero one five two times our r which is zero point two eight eight one 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 that's t three and then minus t four it's five seven five point seven t two is five eight five point five uh seven five four plus t one which is zero is three zero three Ooh, divided by the index minus one and our work done we get that it is zero point three six nine kilojoules which is the same as saying three six nine joules per cycle and we go to question number three they say calculate the heat loss only during compression stroke when CV is equal to 0 0.718 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. We go to the table of thermodynamics under polytropic law. We know that where uh, we know that the heat lost it's equal to work done plus the change in, in the internal energy we're going to say from this formula work done plus internal energy work done it's given by mr divided by t1 mr on bracket t1 minus t2 divided by index minus 1 plus m c v times the change in temperature is t1 minus t is t2 minus t1 and our m we calculated our m we got that it was uh 0 0.00152 if i'm not mistaken yes and our r is 0 0.288 Temperature number one, three zero three. Temperature number two, five eight five point seven five four. All divided by one three, the one point three minus one, and then you say plus internal energy m zero point zero zero one five two. Specific heat capacity they say. It is zero point seven one eight, and then the change in temperature. It's equals to three o three minus five eight five, then uh, point five seven five four, which I got that it is the final answer is negative. 0 0.14 0 0.104 kg which is the same as negative 1.4 joules and this represent that it is heat rejected and that is the end of our question i will see you on the next lesson